Okay, here's a short video that shows how the uh, fan platform is wired. As the step-by-step uh, -step instructions show, we're going to go ahead and we're going to clip this lead off. Okay, so we'll go ahead and we'll get our wire cutters. And you want to clip it flush right here, okay? And then what we're going to do is we're going to cut the other leads at this same length. So go ahead and clip that one like that. You want to keep this lead, okay? Because that needs to be reused later as the instructions show. And then we'll bundle our wires again and clip the leads off. We're going to retain this one. So what you need to do now is strip these wires, which I will go ahead and okay, do right I've now. Okay, I've got the wires stripped, about a half inch for each, and I've got our 30, 30 millimeter long piece of eighth inch uh, heat shrink cut in half. So what we're going to go ahead and do first is we're going to splice together all of our red wires and all of our black wires, and then we're going to go ahead and get these all soldered up. Sorry about the furnace. These wires do not want to spindle together very well. It's kind of curious. Okay, so there's all the black or all the reds. And we'll go ahead and we'll do all the blacks. I'm sorry my hands are in the way, but there's only so much I can do about that. Here we go. On the blacks, all the reds. Now we're going to take our heat shrink tubing and we're going to slide it on because we're going to bind these together and solder them here in a second. So let's start off with the red first. are small it's only 26 gauge so it may take a little effort to get it done so we'll go ahead and get our tip tinned real quick here and just solder it real quick won't take much here we go come back and we'll do the same with the black wires. Oh, that's just still a little bit warm. Get that pushed out of the way. Okay, now the negative side is ready, or the black side. So we'll go ahead and we'll get this soldered up. There we go. Let that cool for a second. And, uh, then we'll get the, uh, the heat shrink applied in the next step. Okay. We'll go ahead and we'll slide our heat shrink up. Make sure it's in the right spot for both wires because we're going to do these at the same time and using a lighter it's going to go real quick okay there you go I charred that one a little bit it's not great it's not perfect, but it gets the job done. I'll just kind of spindle that a little bit. And that is ready to go.